There are many reminders in the town of Broome of the area's past and the pearling industry that it was built on. As far as white or, or European history, um, it started in the late 1800s and it was all about the mother of pearl shell collection back then. The oyster was found in abundance in the waters off of the northwest of Australia and over the years the focus shifted from the shell used to make buttons to the gem inside. So that's obviously your pearl sitting down there. And by the late 1900s and early 2000s business here was booming. Signet Bay pearls and the rest of the nearly 20 pearl farms couldn't grow them fast enough. But then global demand took a big hit from the global financial crisis and a mysterious disease had a devastating impact on oyster populations across the region. That prompted a shift toward finding ways to boost production. While production and demand have slowly returned for the surviving handful of businesses, competition has increased from mass-produced pearls overseas. With a business model that's no longer working, with a wholesale model that's no longer working for the farmer and for the consumer ultimately, and when it's letting both sides of the party down, something has to change. Part of the solution for Signet Bay has been opening up its farm to tourists, including marine-based tours, to give people a better appreciation of the work required to produce pearls. It's also using that tourism to sort of um, bring money into the pearling side of things. So once we take those big hits and you know after those big declines, trying to use that money to actually put back into growing and developing the pearling industry. That approach has served Australia's wine industry well. The opening up of vineyards to visitors and opening cellar doors for wine tasting have help to integrate tourism and boost business. Showing them what makes Australian pearls so special and part of that is the environment and we're very lucky to, to be able to showcase that to people these days. To help not only drive demand but also grow the market. Greg Navarro, CGTN, Broome.